Georgia is one of rugby union's up-and-coming nations. Currently ranked 12th in the world, they're eight-time winners of the Rugby Europe Championship, which is the continent's second-tier competition below the Six Nations. Rugby is not just a game here. It's a value system about unity. Rugby suits their psychology. It suits them mentally and it suits them physically. In their game against Russia at this year's Rugby Europe Championship, Georgia had 52,000 spectators in the stands, more than all the other fixtures combined. The fans are a big part of this game and it's part of their cultural DNA. Georgian rugby means hope to Georgians. It provides hope for our future. I assure you that in 10 years from now, rugby will be huge here. Georgia will not only be a top-tier country in rugby, but it will be a real force to be reckoned with. The popularity of rugby union in Georgia has its roots in a traditional sport called Lelo Berti. Dating back over 300 years, the game sees two sides of a village attempt to wrestle a ball to the opposing team's creek. The sport inspired the nickname of the Georgian rugby team, the Lelos, and explains the country's prowess in the scrum. The president of Georgian rugby is Gotcha Shwatnitze. It's a very old game that dates back several hundreds of years. It's no wonder that the Georgian people have adopted rugby and have a real affinity with the sport, because traditionally we've played the same game. The ball was a bit different, but the game was similar. Rugby, in its more well-known format, started to garner a following here in the 1920s. But when Joseph Stalin took control of the Soviet Union at the end of that decade, the sport was banned, deemed a futile pastime of capitalists. Since gaining independence in 1991, Georgia has won over 120 internationals and appeared at four World Cup tournaments. However, the Lelos have only played four games against Tier 1 sides outside of the World Cup. Given their rapid rise in the sport, many have called for Georgia's inclusion in the prestigious Six Nations tournament. Georgia head coach Milton Haig is one of those voices. Certainly Six Nations is, is a little way off, but uh, you know, we're, we're hopeful within the next four years that that will become a reality. I think you'll, you'll see Georgian rugby will, will be up around uh, the likes of um, you know, the, the, the Argentinians, the, the Scotlands, the, certainly the Italians. Um, uh, in terms of our progress, our infrastructure and our results on the, on the test field. Whether a promotion relegation policy is introduced to the Six Nations or it's otherwise extended to include seven countries is out of Georgia's control. They've focused instead on continuing their development. Buoyed by financial support from both the government and billionaire ex-Prime Minister Bidzina Ivanishvili, Georgian Rugby has built a new training complex and set up a national youth academy. At the last Rugby World Cup, Milton Haig included a then 18-year-old Vasil Lobzanitsa, who became the youngest player in the tournament's history. Haig has adopted a policy of trusting in youth. We have 10 players who were in the under 20s uh, campaign last year in Manchester. They've graduated to the senior team this year and played in the recent um, Rugby Europe Championship. So if you take that you know, squad of 30, a third of our players are 20 or less. So um, you know, I'm really pleased with what's been happening underneath the national team. Because again, for us to be successful, for the national team to be successful, we need uh, good young players coming through. At the end of this month, Georgia will host the Under-20 Rugby World Championship. It's the biggest competition that the country has ever held, and there are strong hopes that the home nation can upset some of the sport's heavyweights. Ilya Maisuradze is head coach of the Under-20s. He invited Transworld Sport to spend some time with the team before their home tournament. 
The World Championship will give the guys a great experience. It will be a step up from any tournament they've ever competed in before. There is a big difference between an under-18 tournament, for example, and the under-20 World Championship. It will be very important for us going forward to find out how the team perform, to analyze it and to react to the things we see before they graduate to the seniors. But, in my opinion, this group of players will be a golden generation for Georgian rugby. Given the intensity of their training schedule in the lead up to the Under-20 World Championship, the team were given some much needed downtime when we visited with the traditional Georgian barbecue. The entertainment was provided by their very own Gela Aprasidze. An energetic scrum half, Gela is the lifeblood of the under-20 team, both on and off the pitch. His agility and tactical astuteness led to a senior call-up recently and has seen him earmarked for big things. Sport plays an enormous role in my life especially rugby, of course. I cannot imagine my life without rugby. So it was a real honour for me to be invited into the senior team, as it would be for any player. I enjoy training with them, and I'd like to become a big sportsman for my country one day. Besides Gela, the man who holds the under-20 team together is Ilya Spandarashvili. The six-foot-two flanker captains the side, while his brother, Nugo, plays for the under-19 national football team. The past two senior Lelo's captains have been back rowers, and Ilya is hopeful of emulating them. I was very proud to be appointed captain. It is a big responsibility. I suppose I did not realize the significance of the role at first. But now I know that the captain must be an example for the whole team. He must galvanize the team and carry them on his shoulders. Like every sports person, I am putting in the hard work to keep improving. I believe I have developed some of my weaker areas as a player. But I must keep training well, so I can go on to play for the senior team and show the best of myself. With the domestic scene in Georgia still developing, many players end up playing for clubs abroad. For now, Ilya is just focused on the coming weeks and steering Georgia to a strong showing at the Under-20 World Championship. Georgia has already shown to the world that we are capable of achieving quite a lot. We've given a lot of countries a tough game recently. Since it was announced that we would be hosting the World Under-20 Championship and welcoming the world's best teams to Georgia, we have become even more motivated to fulfill our potential. Although playing abroad is a great experience and a big responsibility, we are extremely excited and motivated to play in front of our home crowd. Our fans are so passionate, so we'll look to play with even more fire and determination. It'll be a tough task for the home nation to win the Under-20 World Championship, but this group of players hint at a bright future for a country where rugby union seems to be going from strength to strength.